Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a day with you guys. So I love to do these to give some inspiration for different meals. I currently track with Weight Watchers. I'm set to maintenance mode and I get 32 dailies a day. I'm also six feet tall so I get some extras for that but I do try to stay pretty active and I keep that in mind especially when I go over my points. I like to use some weeklies up as well so I'm sure I'll do that today but I'm going to bring you guys along with to see what I do. If you enjoy this video or find it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Let's get started. So I just got up. I got ready for the gym. I wear pretty much the same thing every time. I have these tank tops from Amazon and then these Calvin Klein shorts that I got from Sam's Club and I bought a bunch of pairs because they were super cheap. They had them two years in a row and then they just went out of stock for good. I haven't seen them since. So I even try to find them online all the time because these are just my favorite running shorts because they have pockets and they're not super short on me. So anyway, I have my pre-workout here. It feels like I already drank it, but I didn't. So I've already got some energy this morning, but this is a new flavor I got. It's like a mango from PE Science and this is their regular pre-workout that does have caffeine. Sometimes I like to use the one that doesn't, but today for my leg workout, I honestly woke up feeling really tired and I just wanted to do that. So I've got that in a glass of water. I'm also going to bring a water with me. And then I honestly don't feel that hungry today. We had sushi yesterday, so I feel like that's kind of why I woke up feeling pretty bloated. And I feel like a workout's gonna feel really good, but I think I'm gonna have just like a half of a ready clean protein bar. So I'll show you guys that. And then I think it'll be like two or three points, but I like to have something like that before the gym, especially when I drink my pre-workout, just so I have something else in my stomach. But after that, I'm gonna come home and make a big breakfast. So I will be back after my workout. Okay, so I'm just gonna have half this bar for three points total on Weight Watchers. I went ahead and tracked half and it's three, and then I'll save this half for the gym tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm back home from the gym. I had a really good workout. My legs are pretty shaky, but while they're still warmed up, I'm actually gonna go skate really quick. We've gotten some pretty bad storms through here the past few days, and I haven't been able to skate in a while, so I really just wanna get out and do a quick one at least, just to kind of get some cardio in. I know my weightlifting still counts as a little bit of cardio, but sometimes it's nice to also just get outside and skate. And it's also cooler out today. So I'm gonna put my rollerblades on and go do a quick skate and then come home and have breakfast. I'm honestly not too hungry right now. The bar actually kind of held me over a little bit. And like I said, my stomach already wasn't feeling great from having sushi yesterday. So that always makes me feel just like a little more bloated. I feel like it's a little the cream cheese, the rice, the soy sauce, all the stuff we have. And it always just makes me feel more bloated. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and skate really quick. I'll show you guys some of it while I go, if I can. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a sketchy skate because there are trees and branches everywhere. We kind of had like a microburst tornado. I don't know exactly if that's what it was, but we had 80 mile per hour winds right at the golf course by our house and it took out some huge trees and tons of branches. There were multiple houses that had trees fall on them. So I'll show you a little bit if I can, but I'm gonna go skate. I need to be really careful. And then I'm gonna be back for breakfast. I've got a lot of cookie stuff to work on today. So that's pretty much what I'll be doing in between eating meals. It's pretty much cookies, meal, cookies, meal. Like that's how I feel like the days go when it's like this, but I've got a lot to get done. So I'm just gonna try to stay focused. So I like to get my movement done first thing in the morning because then I feel like I can kind of just chill the rest of the day. A lot of the time I feel better when I do like my cardio and my activity before I eat a lot because I feel that it just like makes me feel better that way. So anyway, I keep talking. I guess my pre-workout definitely kicked in, but I'm gonna go do my skate really quick and I will be back.
one for my skate it went really well although it was super windy out it felt like every direction that i went in like even like turning corners and changing directions i was going against the wind and that always just makes it so much harder but it was a good one i did about seven miles and i'm feeling really good now so i'm hungry i've definitely worked up an appetite and i for some reason at the gym this morning was craving breakfast tacos i was specifically just craving these tortillas so i'm gonna make some breakfast tacos with these i have some leftover bacon that i had made so i'm gonna use that i'm also going to scramble some eggs and use some light mexican cheese blend and then i think i'm gonna put some salsa i need to see what i have in the fridge because i might save my veggie mix for lunch i've got like one serving left so i haven't decided what i'm gonna do about that but i'm gonna kind of track this and see where i'm at which there's also a new update to the Weight Watchers app. It definitely looks different. I haven't really taken the time to explore it, but I'm kind of curious about what they've done to change it. I feel like I saw some people though complaining on Connect about it. So I don't know if it's like good or bad, but as of right now, it's working fine for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and make three breakfast tacos. So I'm gonna use three tortillas. For three of them, it's 150 calories and it is four points on Weight Watchers. I'm gonna use two slices of center cut bacon for two points. And then I'm just gonna use a half serving of this cheese and then the eggs are zero points. So I don't know if I'll have veggies with this. Let me actually check the fridge really quick. Okay, so I checked my veggie mix and I've got enough left that I'm just gonna save it for lunch and I'm just gonna have it as a bigger serving with whatever I do for lunch. I'll probably do like a bowl or something, but I am gonna have some grapes right now. So these are zero points. I just like to have something extra to make the meal a little bit more filling and just take advantage of more zero point foods. So I'm gonna make my breakfast tacos and go ahead and eat breakfast. Okay, so my breakfast tacos are done. I am so hungry and these smell amazing right now. I've also got my grapes for zero points. So the tortillas are four points, the cheese is one, the bacon is two, the eggs are zero. And then I also found some grilled peppers and onions that I had in the fridge. It was such a small serving that it was actually the perfect amount for this. And they were like fajita peppers and onions. So I think it'll go perfect with these breakfast tacos. I also topped it with some Taco Bell mild sauce. So. I'm gonna eat this plate for seven points. And then I've got a lot of cookies to roll. I've got about five or six batches. So I'm gonna get to work on rolling cookies after that. And then I've gotta base them. And I've also gotta detail some of the orders today. So I'm doing all the steps in one day. So I can show you guys by the end of this video when the cookies are done. But again, that's pretty much gonna be my day today. We're pretty much done with the home gym. There's a few things that we need to finish up, but we're gonna go ahead and do that probably tomorrow when I'm done with more of this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Okay, so I've just been working on the cookies. I got them all rolled and ready to base. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. After I finished rolling, I started making my lunch and realized I was filming this video. So I'm gonna go finish making my lunch. I'm just doing a rice bowl because I had some leftover Spanish rice in the fridge. And then I made some blackened chicken. I had some veggie mix that I was gonna finish up and then some cheese and lettuce. So I'm gonna go finish assembling that and that'll be my lunch. I've been trying to make sure that I drink a lot of water today and stay hydrated, but I might also have a protein water and then I'm gonna get back to work on the cookies. So here is my finished bowl for lunch. So I've got a serving of Spanish rice that I made the other day that was just leftovers. I used the right rice 
Spanish flavor for that and some corn. So that is three points for the serving. Then I used some shredded lettuce for zero points, some veggie mix for zero points, which is just pepper, onion, and zucchini that I also prepped earlier. I did about four or five ounces of blackened chicken that I just cooked in the air fryer. That's also zero points on Weight Watchers. And then I really wanted pepper jack cheese, so we have slices and I just diced one up. That's three points on Weight Watchers. And then I topped it with some light sour cream for one point. So this entire bowl is seven points total. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all together and eat and then get back to the cookies. Dinner is done. I'm really excited. These smash burgers look and smell really good. I put a slice of Jarlsberg for two points on Weight Watchers. The bun is five points on Weight Watchers. It's just the ballpark burger buns. It's 150 calories for one. Then the burger patty that I made is three points. I used 96% lean ground beef. I've got some shredded lettuce. And then I did use some Bolt House burger sauce. I used about a point worth, but Bolt House and dressings and sauces like that that are low point, I just never track on my journey. And and so I didn't track it. So I have my burger here. I also put some pickles for zero points. And then I have a four point serving of sweet potato fries that we air fried. I also grilled up some sweet corn from the market, which I am so excited about. This stuff is amazing. And I just sprayed it with a little bit of ghee spray and added some salt. So this is zero points. The fries are four and this dinner comes out to 14 points total. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now. And then I've got more cookies to work on. So I'll show you guys what I've been working on. Okay, and I feel like I don't even have to say this anymore, but I have a Honeycrisp apple. You don't want this, Pluto. <laughs> I have a Honeycrisp apple every single day after dinner. It's zero points. This one is giant, but I'm gonna go ahead and have this after I finish my food. Hi. Oh, you don't want this. You don't want this. Okay, so we got a new bear ball flavor and we've been wanting to try it and we're too impatient to wait for another snack review. So we're trying it today. So it's a what I ate today with a little mini yeah, a little mini snack, snack review. review. <laughs> so honestly, I've heard mixed reviews on this bar. I've heard some people like it and some people really don't like it. They weren't very happy with it. And so I'm kind of nervous to try it and see yeah. how it is because I love bear balls so much. And so I'm hoping we like it. Although it is six points, so it's on the higher side for a bear ball. Yeah. So this is the birthday cake flavor. I order these just directly off the bear balls website. For one of these, it's six points on Weight Watchers, 210 calories. It's got seven grams of fat, 20 carbs, two grams of fiber, and 20 grams of protein. It's got one gram of sugar. Let's see what it looks like. Smell test. Okay, well, first of all, I thought it'd be like, have like colorful sprinkles on it, but maybe. The bottom. Oh, on the inside. The bottom does, yeah. It's in the inside, yeah. So oh. this is what it looks oh. like, which, okay, I already know for sure. I always like their chocolate bars more than their white chocolate yeah. bars. So the, the, that's the, a. Because the raspberry one wasn't one of our favorites. Yes, the raspberry one. Even the white chocolate almond isn't like one of my favorites. It's good every once in a while, but all their chocolate ones are the best. Yeah. So, okay, let's see. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like it's almost kind of fruity. I was gonna say, it almost tastes like fruity pebbles more mm -hmm. than birthday cake. Yeah, and I feel like birthday cake's like an easy flavor to like have. Yeah. And it doesn't really taste like birthday cake. It does, it tastes like fruity. I like that it's like vanilla. I like the white chocolate. The sprinkles are kind of hard in the middle, which yeah. I think is what some people said. Yeah. It just tastes like milk and like crunchy sprinkles, yeah. but I do. I have like a fruity taste, but I think it might just be like the bear bell bar. I don't, I don't know. know. It's not bad though. It's definitely I, not bad and I'll eat them. Yeah, I definitely like the, this one a lot better than that raspberry one. 
Oh yeah, the raspberry one was just not good. Yeah, it was yeah. not, not but very good. But <laughs> I think that this is one I just probably wouldn't buy much. Maybe every once in a while just to like have one or two, but yeah, I don't sure. know if I'll buy the box just because we have so many other flavors that we like yeah. so much more. Or so, if they have like the one off set like Trader Joe's or something. Yeah, that's what I mean. One bar instead of the yeah. whole box, yeah. Yeah, because the soft ones, any of the caramel ones, the creamy, crisp, cookies and cream, salty peanut, all those are still my favorite, yeah. so. Yeah, creamy crisp is okay. my favorite. Well, we tried it. Yeah, we tried it. <laughs> and we have a whole box, <laughs> yeah. but it's, a, it's not like a weird aftertaste or anything. I love no. any bear balls. I love yeah. the texture and everything, but. Right. I always like when they have little crunchies on the outside. Yeah. Okay, so I did go ahead and track this in Weight Watchers. I've got a few more things to finish up with the cookies, and then I'm going to show them to you guys, and then I'm going to wrap up my what I eat in a day for today. After I finish this bar, I think that'll be it for the day. So let me go finish up the cookies. I'll share those, and then wrap this up. Okay, here is one of the cookie orders that I finished up. I had a lot of fun with this set, and I'm really happy with the colors, and I just overall like this theme. So this is for a baby shower. It's baby in bloom and just some wildflowers. I'm going to go ahead and package this up but this is order number one that's done. Okay, so I finished up the cookie orders that I was working on and that'll wrap up my video for today. I ended the day using a total of 37 points. So I did have to dip into my weeklies, totally fine. I was also pretty active today with the gym and skating. So I always keep that in mind with like the little things that I don't track, like the protein water and the bolt house. And then also when I use some of my weeklies, but anyway, I had seven points for breakfast, seven for lunch, 14 for dinner, and then nine for snacks. That included my protein bar before the gym and then the bear ball that we just tried. So that'll wrap up my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. That was pretty close to my face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.